Okay, so we're gonna start with a magic ring and then you're going to chain three and then you're gonna put in 13 double crochets into the magic circle. Okay, so that's 13. And then you can pull that little string at the end to tighten. And then you're not going to go into the chain three, but you're going to go into the first double crochet. So that's the chain three, and then this is the first double crochet. And for row two, um, you can do a chain three, but I like to do something different um, when I start a new row. Um, you just go into that first stitch you went into, pull through, you'll have two loops pull through both of them um, and then those two loops you had here we'll call them like one and two you're going to go into the second one to only pull through and then pull through both and this just helps make it like look a little fuller because sometimes the chain three can look a little wonky and this will count as a double crochet because it's kind of thick so that's a double crochet and you're going to put an increase into each stitch so now this stitch has two double crochets and then all the other stitches will also have two. And you're going to have a total of 26 at the end of this row. Okay, so row two is done. For row three, we'll insert into that stitch, which should be from that um, weird double crochet that we start with, and you're going to do it again. So stick it into that space, pull through both loops, stick your hook in the second loop, pull through, pull through both. And in this one, you're going to do an increase in the first stitch and then a normal double crochet in the second. So it'll go like increase, normal, increase, normal. Okay, so for the fourth row, we're going to kind of do like the same thing. Um, we're going to do an increase and then two regular stitches. And you can kind of tell that there's a pattern, right? So this one we put increases in every one, now we're skipping one, now we're skipping two. So an increase and then two normal stitches. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go all the way with that. Okay, so you should have 52 stitches in row 4, and for row 5, we're going to do an increase in the first stitch, and then um, normal stitches in the next 3 stitches. Here's an increase, and then we'll do 3 normal crochets. And then in this row, you should have 65 stitches, so you can just go ahead and do that. Okay, so you should have 65 stitches in this row, and this is going to be the, um, the last row of black for now, and we're going to do an increase in the first stitch, and then in the next 12 stitches, you're just going to put one double crochet, and this just helps to make sure the hat like kind of tapers off and it's not like a super sharp edge, and at the end of this row, you should have um, 70 stitches. So we're just going to be adding five double crochets, or five increases, sorry, five increases, just kind of randomly um, throughout this row. Let's see, this is... Okay, so that's 12, and then in the 13th one, I'll put an increase. And as long as you kind of just have, like five increases somewhere throughout, it'll be fine. Um, and then after this, you're just going to be doing normal rows, and you're going to switch the color to yellow. And if you kind of know how to do this already, um, I'll show you, but if you know how to do it, you'll do two rows of yellow and then two rows of black, and just kind of interchange that um, for a total of 14 rows, and then you can do the room. Um, but I will walk you through how to do that. Okay, so that's going to be the last row of increases. Now we're going to just end this row by pulling through and then cutting the black yarn. And then you're going to grab the yellow and pull it through that loop. And then you can pull the black to tighten and then tie these ends together so that way 
they stay together. And since we're done with increases, you're just going to do the same thing we've been doing. Um, and you can kind of tuck the, the strand in the back. And just do normal double crochets into each stitch. So each row um, from now on for the base of the hat should have 70 stitches. And you're going to do two rows of like the color and then you'll switch back to the other color. So I'll do two rows of yellow, then I'll switch to two rows of black and then two rows of yellow again um, until you get a total of 14 rows. So starting from row one all the way, we want a total of 14. Okay, so this is what the body of the hat should look like. This is a total of 14 rows. And now for the rim, um, we're gonna have two rows and the first row is going to be an increase in every other stitch so i'm going to just change the colors real quick and then we'll do oops, one double crochet in the first and another one for an increase there and then just one double crochet in the next stitch then an increase in the next one and then a normal one in the next. And this will help it to flare out a little bit. Okay, so that was the first row for the rim. For the second row for the rim, you're going to do um, four increases and then one normal double crochet. So that was one increase, second increase, third increase, and then my fourth increase. So four increases, and then just one normal double crochet. And yeah, just keep going until your row is all the way done. All right, so the hat is done. Um, we can add the wings, but you can just go ahead and cut the rest of the yarn off and um, kind of weave that end in. But yeah, now we'll put the wings on. Okay, so for the little wings on the head, you're gonna make a magic circle, chain three, and then put in eight double crochets. Then you can pull the little string to tighten. And then go back into the first um, double crochet, not the chain three, the double crochet. And then for row two, we're going to do um, increases in the first six stitches. So an increase in the first stitch, increase in the second, all the way until the sixth one. And the reason we don't go all the way is so that the bottom of this is kind of like flat. Right, so after you put um, the six in there, you're just going to do one more double crochet in the next stitch. Like that. So that way it's kind of flat. And I already cut the string, but you want to cut it kind of long because we're going to use it to sew the wing onto the hat. But yeah, make two of these. So this was the first one, make us another one. Okay. So the way we sew it on, um, we're going to be putting it in the space. Um, hold on. It was, um, over here. So there's like at the end of each row. Okay, so now we're gonna put the wings on. And if you notice like after each row, there's like that little seam. So like row one, two, three. So we're gonna be putting it in, in the space after row three um, until after row five. So these two kind of areas here. So the wing will kind of sit like right there. And that's where you kind of sew it on. So we'll have one there and we'll have one, two, three. Another one right there. And it doesn't have to be like exactly perfect, you know, but um, just in that area is good. And you just want to make sure they're um, like right across from each other. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to get them like equal. Um, and the other thing is to just make sure they're both facing like the pretty side. Because you notice like one of them, the back is like different, right? Just make sure they both look um, pretty. And then um, since like... The, the long string will be on the same side. One of them, you're going to start from like the fifth row and go up. And then the other one, you're going to start from the third row and go down. So I'm just going to take a random one. And there's no like 
correct method to do this, but you're just going to start um, either if you're from the third or the fifth row, right? Depending on where the long string is. You're just going to stick your hook into it. And then just kind of make sure it's straight and just um, sew it on. I believe this is called a whipping stitch. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is. And just make sure you're getting it secured on. Oops. And then when you're done doing this, you can also weave that end in. But anyways. So yeah, just kind of go and sew the wings on. And then I will show you how I tie them off, but you know, you can tie them off however you want. Okay, so I have one of the wings on. I'm just going to show you how I tie it off. What I do, um, you'll have like the little stitches from the back. And you're just going to sneak your needle under one of them. Pull it through a little bit. And now you have this big loop. You're just going to kind of wrap the yarn um, around and stick your needle through that loop. And it'll form a little knot. And then to make sure it's really secure, you can just make another little knot. And then you can weave your needle under all of these little white stitches to weave the end in. Grab your scissors and snip it. So yeah, Oops. just like that. Okay, so I sewed both the ears on, the hat is done, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you!